Welcome back to Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus. We're trying to draw the Nazis away from the escaping resistance in New Orleans, and we've headed into the catacombs. Is that... Is that a huge robot? Oh. He shows up as red on the crosshair. <laughs> oh, that's not good. It's not moving, though, weirdly enough. Hmm. I'm guessing if I shoot it, it'll probably activate. Well. Maybe if we just don't wake it up, we'll be fine? I'll certainly hear it if it's stomping around. Hmm. Can you... Can you really not... Get up there? Oh, shit. Should be dual wielding these. <laughs> Secrets, nothing but murky blackness. Do you think if I walk up to that huge robot looking like this, I'll scare it away? Oh, I just got conf pistol ammo. Nice. Pistols are so damn powerful. Don't shoot, don't shoot. Oh, thank God. Hello, Commander. You know, I haven't done this in a while. Let's see if I can get him in the head. Right about... Mm, right about there. Oh, just below the neck. Damn it. Wish I had a flashlight. 30 out of 30. That gives me more time before the alarms go off, right? Yeah, <laughs> I get 0.6 seconds. Yay, so much time. That's where I need to go. Um, I'm gonna make sure I'm not missing anything though. Just a quick look. All right, we're good. Wait, what? Is it just my imagination, or am I fully underwater with my weapons out and yet I'm not swimming, I'm like walking? Yeah, I'm, I'm underwater. What the hell? Huh? What is wrong with this water? I, what? There is something wrong with the water, right? I haven't gained some weird... Some weird ability that makes me literally walk through water as if the water isn't even there? I mean, even if I had some weird super strength suit or whatever, I mean, you'd hear something. You'd hear swishing and stuff going through the water. I don't even hear water. Is it the weapon I have out? What if I switch to something entirely different? No. Huh. I 
love double tapping with these. Let's get a head start on the ladder. Oh nice, assault rifle ammo. I needed that desperately. Yep, nothing here. JJ. Oh, that's just armor. Oh, that's the Oculus Rift helmet thing. Now, at first it looked maybe like an upgrade kit or something. Man, just look at this. This game is gorgeous. And the atmosphere here, the lighting, that intense lighting and all the deep dark shadows combined with this sort of rundown, almost post-apocalyptic building where nature's reclaiming it. It's really nice looking. Do you read? William, I read you. What's happened? You okay there, darling? I'm doing... Ah! Fine. <laughs> I'm trying to regroup with Wyatt. I've contacted Grace. The U-boat is on its way in. And we are on our way to Lakeview District. Well, listen, don't do anything reckless. Now you stay safe. I'll be fine. Out. Horton, what's your status? Rounding up the last of the people and fixing to leave. You'll make your way to the Lakeview District. Bring everyone. We're getting a ride out of here. Well, Billy, that might be a fine idea in theory, but I reckon all them Nazis between here and yonder might slow us down dearly. Wager I can get their attention. Objective, kill them all. <laughs> I love it. Oh no, is that one of those huge things? Next stop, Lakeview District. Shit. If my objective is to actually kill them all, this might be the first time I have to actually kill one of those things. I've encountered two of them previously, and I ran away from both, because they're just too damn hard. I wonder if it has a weakness. Let's let's scope it out. Maybe that back there, that's probably where the, the rider gets in. I'm assuming it's occupied by somebody inside of it. Right there, that might be a weakness. I mean, I'm going to get such a tiny chance to actually shoot at it, though, because it always faces me. It seems to magically know where you are. I wonder if I run... Maybe if I run up to it, I could do, like, a special attack to it with uh, the hatchet or something. Oh, okay. Okay, then. Um, let's try running up to it, shall we? Hell, where am I? Uh, okay. <laughs> no. You're not supposed to get under it and do something fancy. Next stop, Lakeview District. I guess my best bet is just to shoot it from up here, right? God, I don't know. Uh, Comp pistol? I 
see the head. I think I like it broke open something and exposed something on the head. Um, let's try some targeted fire with these. Shit. Oh hell yeah. Okay. So at least one way to take him down is shoot him in the head area, break open a panel. Now it reveals a weakness. I can kill them. Where'd those fuckers go? Ah, I guess I'll just go down there, huh? Let's try shotguns, just for fun. on the roof of the Lakeview apartment building. That ride of yours better get here soon because we won't hold out much longer. Boss man, come in! Where's our boat? I don't see no boat! We're getting our butts handed to us out here! Wyatt, I reach. Sorry, we're being held up. Working to resolve the problem. God, this is chaos. We really need to help. But first, I'm going to read this. Commandant's note. N.O. New Orleans Purge Tally. Zone 3A, 6F. Uh, oh, female and male. And children. Building integrity. Overall good. Some collateral damage to be expected. I guess they're thinking of... Like, like I don't know if they're talking about the wall. Because they say building, as if there's like one building. Or just the buildings in general. Maybe they want to sort of try to preserve the buildings and take over this place and, and use it once they've purged everybody. I don't think I need any supplies, actually. I'm pretty good. Ugh. More sewers. Wait, what's that? Oh, that's health, I don't need it. Okay, yeah, so water does work, like this. <laughs> that other one was just bugged for some weird reason. Still can't believe how good the water looks. Okay. This is it, Anya! This is where it all ends! Grace! We need evacuation now! Holy shit. What am I looking at? Is that the Yubo? Yeah, baby! Woo! Grace! Oh, you are a gosh darn hero! I knew you would make it! Wyatt, Anya, help everyone get on board the U-boat. The Nazis will regroup and attack. Hurry up! Blaskowitz, get your ass up on the Lakeview apartment building roof and climb on board the U-boat. We've spotted the Altsmerzer on the radar. It'll be here any minute. Haul ass! Alright, you got it. I wonder if I'm actually on a timer here. I don't know. Shit! Okay. Okay. I got, like, no health. Cool. How the hell am I alive? 
Do some health around here. I'm not actually sure if this is where I'm supposed to be going. I'm supposed to get on top of a building, reach the rooftop. What rooftop? You know, screw this thing. Marcus South Branch. Mostly dead all the time. I desperately need health. I gotta find some. There we go. Hello, Commander. That scared the shit out of me. Okay, I got it this time. We wait here, someone comes. We're good. Blazkowicz, oh, all of the evacuees are on board, but we can't leave. Props are stuck in the mud. We're stranded, and the outsmercher is incoming. If it gets here before we bail, we are fucked. What about, like, the nuclear cannon? What are you talking about, Wyatt? The shockwave from the nuke could push us out to sea, man. Now that's the stupidest fucking plan I have ever heard. Set. Well, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Blazkowicz, hop on the nuclear cannon and fire it to maximum distance. <laughs> I just hope it's far enough away from us not to rupture the hull. You set up a nuke cannon to push us out of, out of the... <laughs> from being beached? Uh, I guess it makes some sense. I was wondering, like, it looked like it had beached itself. And I don't think something like that can just unbeach itself very easily. It's freaking massive. Ooh, chunks. Secrets? No secrets. Secrets behind the couch? Damn it, would have been a perfect place to put secrets. like all of New Orleans. Got it. Looks like the Alice Mercer lost track of us. Clear skies on the scope. Friar Angle commands it now. Using the taunt terrors. But in the way back, the Alice Mercer would roam from city to city, crushing any resistance. 
And if we ignite a revoke, you can be sure the Oz Mercer swoop in, put an end to it, break and say hell's bells. But we're gonna start this revolution. We need to put an end to the Oz Mercer firstly. So then we mount a surprise attack, conquer the Oz Mercer, and use it against the Nazis. Well, the Oz Mercer is protected by an automated security system called Odin. Seen it when I was up there. We'll hijack the system, find the Odin codes, and disable the fucking thing. Yeah, but that kind of information is a top military secret. Only the Ober Commando is privy to it. It's so easy, man. I've got it all figured out. Oh, yeah? After you atom bombed the bejesus out of the old Ober Commando at Roswell, the Nazis ran scared. They took all their top brass, all their top military secrets, and they reestablished the Ober Commando on Venus. Venus, the planetary body, Venus in space. Oh, Venus hell yeah, we're going back to space. Up there, you're gonna need radioactive mittens. Mittens, nigga! Okay, we're just gonna fly there. We are gonna load up, and we're gonna fly. Uh -huh. Oh, man, we're just gonna take our choppers, but instead of only going so high, we are just gonna keep going straight up right into space with the mind. You know? Then we're gonna drop you off on Venus. You're gonna break into the Ober Commando and you are gonna steal those Odin secrets from their computing machines. Do those chopper so, things work in space? I have a plan too. Wyatt, do you mind? No, man. It's all good. In two days, final auditions for the role of the infamous terrorist William Terribilly Glaskowitz take place on the enigmatic Aristat habitat on Venus. One of the hopeful actors is Jules Redfield, here getting a snack from his favorite milkshake bar in his hometown. Oh I my god. <laughs> his papers are all in his glove box. Yeah. What about him? Well, is he a Nazi? You a Nazi fella? <laughs> Can't even tell no more. Oh, look. Like a walrus. Don't forget your luggage. Remember, you are Jules Redfield, professional actor, traveling to Venus to audition for the part of William Joseph Blaskovich. Now, you are summoned by personal invitation, so security should be minimal. Break a leg. Mr. Redfield? Mr. You, Sir Redfield? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That's me. I'm Helena, the director of this film. Apologies for the long journey, but my producer favors a safe location and has an affinity for dramatic settings. Uh, come. Oh, uh, I'm on my luggage. Someone will bring it for you. Come, come. Welcome to the audition, Mr. Redfield. Now that you're all here, I ask you to prepare yourselves. Okay, I just gotta stop for a second. I love how this game switches so fast. This is exactly what I've been talking about from the other games, how it just changes on a dime, completely changes everything, doesn't drag on. I mean, within a couple minutes, I went from blowing up a nuke in New Orleans to escape with a, our U-boat escaping away from some giant flying machine of death and taking the resistance with us and then and a couple minutes later now i'm pretending to be an actor who is was pretending to be me because everybody thinks i'm dead but i'm actually alive and oh i'm on venus my god you must be off book for this audition so be sure to memorize your lines before the producer gets here he has a volatile disposition so be careful what you say and do in his presence mr redfield I can't stress enough how important it is you learn these lines by heart. Your script is on the chair. I will be with you shortly. Can't blow my cover. Better keep a low profile. Leave the pretend acting for those so inclined. Your agent got you on the short list for this? Nah, man. Casting director saw me on a mystery show. Thought I had the right face. This is exciting, man. Venus and all. Yeah, I don't know. It's a little weird, though, no? Why Venus? What's wrong with L.A.? Producer gotta be a real big cheese. Yeah. Muhammad must go to the mountain type deal. Hmm. Yeah. Any stage experience? What was your name? Roland, was it? Ronald. Ronald. Nah. 
I used to do uh, broadcasts uh, when I was younger. Nowadays, it's all pictures and TV. Yeah, I thought about doing film acting, but I just love the theater. You know, I'm not sure I even want this role. It's not like real acting unless you're on a stage in front of a live audience. You know what I mean. Sure thing, Chief. Unbelievable. This is awesome, man. Venus, Murder. can you believe it? Are you raised? Oh, come on, Johnny. Hey. Man, I have always Better. wanted to go to space. A murder. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I will murder your dirty race. Oh, Jesus, you moron. I'm surprised nobody's commented on how I look perfectly like the actual me. Although I guess I don't. I got a mustache on. Whoa. What is that? Hey. They mind if I just get up behind them? Get in their face? Oh, hello. Wow. That's just in here. Wait a minute. How did you get in here? You couldn't have fit through that door. What the hell? Um. How did it get in here? Wow. Are those scars real? Seriously, I actually want to know. Maybe these open or something? Even then, that god, that'd be difficult. Alright, where are my lines, I guess? Actually, no, I think I saw something to pick up over here. Is it a film reel? Mm-hmm. Okay. My lines. Gotta get these lines down. There's some some real tongue twisters. How am I supposed to remember this shit? I'm gonna write this down. The End of All Evil by A.H. English Translation. But they are too late. The bomb in the dining hall explodes, killing every child inside mercilessly. Exterior, the courtyard, day. The camera moves in on Blondie, who stops outside the orphanage. The dog lowers her head and whimpers. She realizes that she is too late and that many innocent German lives have been lost? Okay. Interior orphanage, day. The camera pans over the chaos and death, which suffuses the classroom. We zoom in on the lone dark shape of William Blaskowitz, the child murderer, <laughs> looming over the dozens of tiny scattered bodies. Sunlight seeps through the gray Venetian blinds, their shadows imprisoning our evil antagonist figuratively. Even the school teacher looks up from the murdered eight-year-old girl she is cradling. She is weeping. Eva, dramatically weeping. Cold-blooded terrorist, that's what you are, Blaskowitz, with evil contempt, and you're a Nazi whore, Eva, you monster, what are you going to do to me, oh, I will rape and murder you, oh, oh, <laughs> Eva, so many German innocent lives you've killed, but the German race will rise again, Blaskowitz, barbaric and mercilessly, I will murder your dirty race too, fade to exterior Berghoff, the Bavarian Alps, morning, okay, okay, yeah, this seems accurate. Places, places, quickly! <coughs> Hide Hitler! Hide Hitler! <coughs> oh. Helena! Come on. Oh, yeah. Schminke. Mm -hmm. Good. 
Das ist magisch. Ja. Magisch. Magisch. <lacht> Schauspieler. Geschult in der Kunst der Verkleidung und <lacht> Täuschung. Ja. Ähnlich wie Spione. Vielleicht ist er ein Spion unter Ihnen. Sie haben sicher alle mein Buch gelesen. Oh, yes, mein Führer. And my children have read it too. I loved it, Mr. Hitler. Super good. Mr. Hitler. Wenn Sie mich ansprechen, sagen Sie mein Führer. Verstanden? Haben Sie keinen Respekt vor Autorität? Ihre Worte gewähren Einblick in einen höchst verraterischen Geist. I am so sorry, mein Führer. Sind Sie denn ein Idiot? No, mein Führer. Sind Sie ein verkleideter Schurke, ein Jude? Ein verräterischer Jude? No, no, mein Führer. I'm... I'm from Arizona. Schafspelz, konspirierende, lügende, niederträchtige Juden. Ich erkenne sie schon von Weitem. Wenn Sie mein Buch gelesen haben, wissen Sie, dass ich die Wahrheit kenne. Und wer die Wahrheit auf seiner Seite hat, der gewinnt immer. So konnte ich die Welt von den Juden reinigen und so konnte ich die minderwertigen Kommunisten in die Knie zwingen. Oh, so ging das. Ich habe ihn vernichtet. William. Oh, Josef. Glatzkowitsch. Oh. Oh. Ah. Helene. Mein absolutes Meisterstück, das Jahrhundert Epos und mein künstlerisches Erbe. Wer mein Drehbuch liest, der wird die zahllosen Stunden zu schätzen wissen, die ich aufgewendet habe, damit jede Szene, jeder Zeile, jeder Silber fehlerfrei ist. Bravo, mein Führer, bravo! <lacht> Mutti, mir ist so kalt. Weg! Fuck. Sie! Helene, zusammen mit ihm. A cold-blooded terrorist. That is what you are. What the hell did I write? I think I remember it. <laughs> And you're a nice woman. Um, there's a lot I want to talk about here. Uh, let's wait for this to play out. I'll talk after we get through this. And you are a Nazi whore. Mm -hmm. You monster! What are you going to do to me? Uh... That was such an awkward pause, I actually thought the game had crashed. Um... I, I will cake and butter you. <laughs> uh, I think it was this one. I will rape and murder you. So many German innocent lives you have killed, but the German race will rise again! Shit. Um... I think it's this one? I will murder your dirty race too. <laughs> Die Worte waren richtig, ja. 
Aber Sie haben anscheinend nicht die mindeste Ahnung von der Psyche eines Mannes wie William Josef Blatzkowitsch. Wie können Sie sein, was Sie nicht verstehen? Sie. Spielen Sie die Rolle. Füllen Sie, füllen Sie, füllen Sie die Rolle. A cold-blooded terrorist. That is what you are. Then you're a Nazi whore. Monster, what are you going to do to me? I will rape you, and I will murder you. So many German innocent lives you have killed. But the German race will rise again. And I will murder your dirty race, too. Wie besser, Sie könnten von ihm lernen. Ich gebe Ihnen, was Sie brauchen, um den Geist dieses Irren zu verstehen, dieses dreckigen Untermensch. Oh, ich kannte ihn in- und auswendig. Und darum konnte ich ihn gefangen nehmen und ihn der Gerechtigkeit übergeben. Äh, mein Gott, mein Gott, habe ich Hunger. William Josef Platzkowitsch, aufgewachsen in Mesquite, Texas. Mischlingskind eines Verkäufers und einer polnischen Jüdin. Die Mutter wurde vom Vater ausgeliefert, starb in einem Vernichtungslager in Neumexiko. Selbst als Erwachsener waren seine geistigen Fähigkeiten noch die eines Kindes. Und tatsächlich, als wir nach seiner Exekution aufstehen, konnte man sehen, dass er Jude ist. Oh. Helene, machen Sie weiter. Ich bin müde. Aspirants, as you know, this role is very physical. William Josef Bloskowitz was not a man of intellect, he was a man of action. The scene takes place right before the scene you did earlier. Bloskowitz is about to plant the bombs that will massacre the German children in the orphanage. But first, he must eliminate the brave soldier standing guard outside the school in a brutal fight scene. Mr. Le Llewellyn Irving? Llewellyn Ewing. Yeah. Why don't you start? <sighs> you will each improvise a fight sequence. And uh, once the guard is eliminated, uh, you finish the scene by reading the lines from the cue card, exactly as written. Places and action. Oh, 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 stop, stop. Oh, God, I, I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding. I, I, I need to take a break. Line, please. Yeah, I need a doctor. Line. Okay. Your bravery is no match for a Neanderthal like myself. Besides, I only know how to fight in a dirty manner. And now, to kill all the innocent children, Germany's future. Ha 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 ha, what? Oh God, 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 you. That was crazy. Why? Mr. Redfield. Please, the floor is yours. Act out the fight scene. So I'm curious what's going to happen here. Which Am I going to just set myself apart by being extremely good at acting out the fight scene, or am I going to actually, like, steal the gun and go? You step into the box. Und action. Dann mach es mal richtig, du wichtig Tor. I thought there was a second to pull the trigger. Okay, so we are gonna take the gun. Does that mean... Well, let's just see where this goes. Convincing. That 
what you wanted? Is that what you had in mind? You Nazi asshole. Because that's all you're getting. Wunderbar, haben Sie das gesehen, Helene? Wie geboren für die Rolle. Oh, er wird mein Platz gewinnen. Oh Gott! Er ist mehr als perfekt. Let me help you unpack, Mr. Redfield. Hmm. Was zur Hölle ist das? <lacht> yourself, Adolf. I'm leaving here with your secret Odin codes. Then we steal the Ausmerzer, take out General Angle, and show the American people what revolution looks like. Okay, I still have a lot to talk about. I do want to just mention, though, that I just ate food cubes, I think? They look like just like space cubes. Oh, that must be what these are. Yeah. Hmm. Delicious? Protein werfel? Yeah, real fruit. <laughs> Just enough that I can't eat the last one. Just sits there floating. Okay, um... I need to think. That was a lot to take in. Uh, I wasn't expecting to actually have a scene with Hitler. You know, Hitler in the previous games has always been just something far away, mentioned in, in notes and newspapers and, and conversations and whatnot, but I, I didn't expect them to actually have Hitler in a scene in the same room as the player. Um, uh, I think I have three major thoughts about that. Uh, one is I feel like they did a similar thing to what they did at the very beginning of the game, where they wanted to show uh, the Nazis and, and Hitler specifically as like, uh, you know, farcical, wanted to establish them as the, the bad people and just really, really, really drive that home like they did at the beginning of the game. But they did it so much and it lingered so long that it just was very unpleasant and very just unnecessary. That scene did not need to go on so long. I, I get the picture. Yes, you, you don't need to convince me to, to hate Hitler. I, I already do. It's, it's fine, trust me. It's just really unpleasant between reading the lines about I'll rape and murder you and watching all those other people get slowly murdered. So, <laughs> there's thought number one. Way too much. Way, way too much. Thought number two. I don't like what they've done with Hitler. Um, it seems like they're trying to make make him... Well, the whole the whole thing was a farce, right? Like it was a it was a farcical, darkly comedic scene. They're trying to make the Nazis and most mostly um, Hitler specifically look absolutely ridiculous. They're saying, "Look at this fucking ridiculous piece of shit. Fuck them. They're pathetic." Which I mean, yeah, it's true. But the way they're saying it is really ableist. They're basically making it so this person is pathetic and disgusting because they're sickly and like sort of withered away and I it seems like they're making making a, a large part of their point by way of basically sickness slash disability which is not good look I'm all for saying fuck Hitler because fuck Hitler I really hope I get to kill Hitler actually in this game now that I know that they're actually in it directly but that's not a good way to go about it oh and that was actually my third thought is I hope I get to kill Hitler that would be very satisfying if I do, I don't think I'm going to get to do it here on Venus. That'll, that's that's got to be like a climax, right? Like at the end of the game, if it happens. All right. Well, anyway. Yeah, a lot happened there. Wow. I'm conflicted. On one hand, all the stuff I just mentioned. On the other hand, I'm on Venus, and that's really fucking cool. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon. <laughs>